Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. And for today's show, let's talk about PlayStation and the news that came out of nowhere that PlayStation and Discord are entering into a brand new partnership. In fact, Sony wrote yesterday, together our teams are already hard at work connecting Discord with your social and gaming experience on the PlayStation Network. Sony continued to explain that their goal is to implement Discord fully into the console and mobile experience starting early 2022. And if you are unaware of what Discord is, Discord is one of the best gaming chat platforms out there today. And even describing it like that does the platform a disservice because users and developers can create servers that feature channels which allow users to communicate and share with other members of the server. Discord currently has 6.7 million servers that are active every day with over 140 million active users per month. And fun fact, according to The Verge, 75% of Discord users are based outside of the United States. And for me, this is extremely interesting because the most recent story that we had about Discord was that Microsoft was trying to acquire Discord for $12 billion. However, the deal apparently fell through with Discord wanting to stay independent with the company planning on eventually going public. And the reason that I say interesting is because according to Sony's Jim Ryan, Sony Interactive Entertainment has made a minority investment as part of Discord's Series H round of funding in order to deepen the relationship between the two companies. So Microsoft and Xbox couldn't buy Discord and PlayStation swooped right in and became a minority investment partner. Which of course raises the speculation of did PlayStation somehow sabotage Microsoft's attempt to buy Discord? And granted, we will never know if PlayStation specifically had any part of the deal falling through. But thanks to Bloomberg, we do know that following the original article, Discord fielded multiple offers from different companies, including the likes of Amazon and Twitter. And while I want to make it extremely clear, you know, this is just a minority investment and PlayStation isn't taking over Discord. Personally, I think that this is a huge win for PlayStation because let's be honest, PlayStation's social side of the platform is kind of lacking. Creating parties is definitely easier than it's ever been, but as someone who uses Discord on a daily basis, there are definitely some improvements that PlayStation can make. Like Discord is a fantastic platform. At least that is once you turn off the notifications because once you start that sucker up, it's just like And you know, while we're on the topic, I mean, one of my favorite features is how Discord allows you to stream to a party, allowing everyone to see everyone else's screens. So like when you're in a group chat, you can actually show like, hey, this is how you know I solved this issue. So you got great problem solving, or you can just show off like your latest accomplishment in the game. And in a way, this kind of future proofs PlayStation as a platform. Because while communicating and creating parties with fellow PlayStation owners is easy, as crossplay and cross progression become more and more prevalent, platform identity is only going to become more and more fluid. Meaning that the necessity of creating private parties with players on other platforms becomes so much more challenging. So by having a centralized form of communication and interacting, that becomes so important. And with Discord already being integrated into PC and Xbox, having it available on PlayStation is a no brainer. It just makes things like crossplay that much easier. And I guess to wrap this all up, I mean, I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this one. I mean, how do you feel about Sony making this investment? Do you use Discord on a daily basis? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.